here at the friendly confines Wrigley Field. The show brings you game one of a huge four game weekend set. The Atlanta Braves and the Chicago Cubs. First pitch coming your way next. Just about set to go now. Now the starting pitcher in this one, Eddie James. Safe to say, he's pretty stingy, Chris. Indeed, his walks and hits per innings pitched is ridiculously good. I mean, when you look at the rest of the league, this guy never works out of the stretch. It's always in his windup, probably feeling pretty comfortable, getting the baseball, going right after hitters, limiting hard contact and having good defensive work behind him. So just about set. Now in for the Braves, Ozzy Albies. And a foul ball. First pick, 7.05. And he hits a ground ball right side, and he grabs it foul. And a swing and a miss, and now one away. Well, pitchers have become so much better at commanding that high fastball. It used to be that a lot of guys didn't like to throw it because it threw off their release point and their mechanics, and they're aimed at keeping everything at the knees, get ground balls, but because hitters get a swing path that can lift balls at the knees up in the air and over the fence, this pitch has come back into play, and they are doing some special things with it. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Gomes makes the play and a couple of quick outs. Here's the Atlanta Braves lineup. This is a ball club that can really slug. Lots of homers, lots of extra base hits. And Chris, that of course a huge part of success in the standings for this group. Well, if you're going to be successful in today's game, you've got to be able to hit the ball over the fence. Just defensively, very hard to find the holes. And when you're talking about guys you know, coming out of the bullpen, throwing 95 and above, very difficult. It's hard to string together two, three, four hits to score those runs. So definitely critical to hit those homers, get the extra base knocks, and that's exactly what they've been doing. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. The power is such a big part of the success that we see with the good teams in the league right now. And now ah, that's strike three and the third out. So we take a break. And the Braves go down quietly. Now the Cubbies will get their first crack. No score. It's Major League Baseball on the show. New inning getting started. And now it's Atlanta's cleanup hitter, Matt Olson. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. The wind of the pitch. On the ground, right side, base hit. Off to a good start with a leadoff nod. Well, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. Next offering is in for a strike. Aside to home plate duty is Ricky Holiday. Boog, and something I've heard players saying about Ricky's strike zone is how he will call the high strike. That could be something that's tough to deal with, especially if you've got a guy out there coming at you with high velocity. Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Typically, that high fastball, if it's close to the top of the strike zone, a hitter, if he's prepared for it, can get to it. But that one just had that little jump at the end, which indicates there's a good spin rate on it, and it didn't decrease in velocity as that hitter's internal clock would expect it to, and that's why you see the swing and miss. Up to the plate is Brandon Belt. Olsen, the base runner at first with one out. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. 
Now two out. Well, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch after giving up the leadoff single. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. So they haven't been able to move that runner up, get him into scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. Adam Duvall now in the box. Comes up empty with a swing there. This lineup's going to have to find a way to make him work a little harder out there on the mound. I mean, he is just mowing him down. He's settling in. You've got to make him uncomfortable. Maybe step out of the box, call timeout, do whatever it takes. Next pitch misses. Going to count one and two. Two strikes. At the belt and fires. Stays alive. And a ball in two strikes. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Brave strand one. They trail here. One nothing. All set for the start of the inning. Here's Eddie Rosario. Leading off with the Brave. The left field. Yeah, the right hater back to work. Eddie. There's a strike. If he doesn't get a knock right here, that pitch he just took is going to eat at him for a while. You might not see another pitch like that from a top-level guy like this. 0-2 oh, as he waves at that one. And the right-hander deals. Got him. One away. Dominating strike out there on just three pitches, and that's what a good power pitcher can do to you. He's hitting his spots, filling up the strike zone. Sometimes he bats over before it really begins. And now it's Travis Darno at the plate. Swings through that one. 0 oh and 1. Righty to the plate. Got him. Picks up strikeout number seven. Just absolutely rolling on the mound. He's looking very much on his game in the early parts of this one, Boog. Fully on the attack with these hitters. That's seven strikeouts already, so he's got a good pace going, no doubt. Ozzie Albee's up to the plate. And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. That one off the mark. And one and one. Two down, nobody on. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. The big righty strikes out the side. Braves go down quickly here. Still behind by a count of one to nothing. As we go to the top of the fourth, here's Orlando Arcia. Leading off for Atlanta. And a pitch. The shortstop. Orlando Arcia. And a foul ball. Comes up empty on oh, the swing. Oh, and two now. The wide to kick the pitch. Got him looking. And that's the first out. Oh, there's a three-pitch strikeout. He can do whatever he wants with the baseball right now. Here's Acuna now. Good contact guy, good defender. Left field, way back there. That's back. Pulls it in on the warning track. Up next for Here it. is Matt Olson. Matt Olson. Foul ball there. Kicks and deals. Swing and a miss. 0 oh and 2. Now, this is a big time matchup right now. And stop what you're doing, folks. Watch this because you have two of the game's best going. A Cy Young.
And down on strikes. That's out number three. Braves are set down one, two, three. And it remains one nothing. Ready now for the fifth inning. And a batter now, Austin Riley. And a pitch. Austin Swings and misses. That's strike one. These guys have been very aggressive early in the count, but when you're down, you might want to be a little more patient. Take some pitches, see if you can extend those at bats and get some base runners on. Next offering misses, and that is ball one. Righty delivers. Right side. And that squirts through. Around first, digging for two. Safe at second with nobody out, and he represents the tying run. Well, that may end up being an at bat. We go back to later on when this game is over. Just a simple ground ball the other way. They had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. Now a pretty big at bat coming up with a chance to even this ball game up. Oh, and two now. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Not what you're looking for after the leadoff double. A strikeout, and there's one away. Adam Duvall at the plate. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. And a pitch. Edge of the zone for a strike, and it's 0-2. And it's second. And down on strikes he goes. Two out. Well, even if you don't feel great about it, you've got to swing the bat with two strikes in this situation. You've got the tying run out there in scoring position. Just put the ball in play. Maybe something good will happen. It just didn't look like he understood the situation. Rosario swings through that one as he comes to the plate for the second time today. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Left-hand batter waits. That one missed. Ooh, I thought he'd bite right there. The pitch. And a swing and a miss. Out number three. One left for Atlanta. They're down 1-0. All set for the top of the sixth. Leading off, Travis Darno. Leading off for it, James, back to work. Travis Darno. Swing and a pop up. Gomes settles underneath it. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And there's one away. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. All these in the box now. No balls and a strike. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. And next for Atlanta, Orlando Arcia. In there for strike one. Swing and a miss. He finds himself in a tough situation early. Just going to try to simplify it. Take a knock the other way if you can. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Third out. And the Braves go down quietly. They trail it here, three nothing. Uh. We go to the top of the seventh. So now to the plate for Atlanta, Ronald Acuna Jr. The center fielder, number thirteen. Ronald found back our way, and that's out of play. Kicks and fires. All one there. Well, it's been a very impressive outing so far. His command has been a big part of it. Even when he misses, he misses outside the strike zone, which is exactly what a pitcher wants. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. And he's down on strikes. 
for the second time today. Oh, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base pass, it's not just the pitcher. It's other guys that have to think about it from your infielders, have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. The 0-1. And fouled off. Right-hander kicks deals. The punch out there. That's his second strikeout. It's almost like he's telling the guys in the bullpen, stand down, I got this. Here's Austin Riley. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. The pitch. In for a strike, and it's nothing in two. And a swing and a miss. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Down in order go the Braves. They trail in this one, three nothing. Ready to begin the eighth. So here's the Braves designated hitter, Brandon Bell. The pitch. Brandon Bell. There's the strike. So he's back out to begin the eighth. Been a really nice outing for him so far, Singy. He's thrown the ball really well. Kept hitters off balance, and he's been very efficient with that pitch count. But at this point, even though it's been relatively low, you start keeping an eye on it to make sure that he doesn't have any fatigue and injure himself. Swing and a miss, and he got him. So he's gotten deep into this game, and at least so far, not showing a ton of signs of fatigue. And now the right fielder, Adam Duvall. That one's in there, 0 1. Here we go, guys. Let's go. The wind and the pitch. That to right. Carlson settles under it. Pulls it in for the out. Now batting the left fielder, Eddie Rosario. Now the left fielder, Eddie Rosario, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. And first offering is fouled off. And the righty deals. Strike two. You know, Bruce, every team has a hitters meeting pregame, but this lineup seems way too anxious, aggressive. You wonder what they talked about. Got him looking. And that is that. Braves go down quickly here. Still down, 3 0. All set to start the ninth in this one. Now it's the Atlanta catcher, Travis Dardo. The catcher. Right. That's in for a strike. Oh, one's the count. Ground ball to the right side, and it goes just foul. And he'll two. And down on strikes, and that's the first out. Here is Ozzy Albies up to hit. Swings through that one. 0 and 1. He's had a tough day at the plate. Three strikeouts already. It's hard not to think negative, but you got to find a way to somehow center up the baseball and put it in play. Comes up empty on the swing. 0 and 2 now. One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two away down. You usually are going to see that inside fastball a little longer coming in from the opposite side, but that pitch really got in on him right there. I mean, that's a well-thrown pitch. Tough to do anything with that in terms of getting the hands through and the sweet spot of the bat to the baseball. Arcia at the plate with two away, swings through that one. And he deals. There's a strike. All right, there's number eight, one away. And a 
swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. Terrific job in this game. He scattered two hits and pretty dominant. Efficient with his pitch count. Got himself all the way to the finish line and finished what he started. A 4-0 shutout in this one. The Cubs go home a winner for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Schaffer. Thanks for joining us. Here now is the final line for tonight. First for the victorious Chicago Cubs. Four runs on five.